Hello, welcome to IBC 2012. My name is Ryan Fletcher. I'm the platform manager for lighting at Ari. So last year, we debuted the L7C color tunable LED Fresnel, which is the first time we've been able to combine all the versatility of traditional tungsten Ari Fresnels with all of the efficiency and tunability benefits that come from LED. So this year, we've released two new options for the L7 line of products. The first is the L7T. So we've been getting a lot of questions from customers as to if a single fixed color temperature in tungsten would enable more light output. And so to satisfy those requests, we've released a single color tungsten only model. It's fixed at 3,200 Kelvin tungsten, but it still has all of the same color quality advantages, CRI over 95, excellent skin tone rendition that the L7C does, but at one color temperature. Now the benefit of the L7T is that it's more than 30% brighter than the L7C. So it really provides the maximum amount of light attainable today in an LED Fresnel for a studio in this given form factor. So all the other attributes of it, it shares the same mechanics, the same focus range, the same beam spread as the L7C, but again, 30% brighter in 3,200 Kelvin only. Now this fixture also is showing the second option that we've released for the L7 at IBC, which is an active cooling system. Now, the L7 was designed initially as mainly a broadcast studio product, but we've seen a tremendous adoption for set lighting applications, both on location and also on red carpet events and other type of outdoor type of portable applications because of the color tuning ability and the low energy use. So what we were really asked by customers in these areas was can we make it even better suited to location purposes? And that means smaller and lighter, but still providing the same amount of light as it previously did. So what we came up with was an active cooling system that removes three kilograms of the weight from the traditional passive cooling system. It integrates a very, very quiet fan, which is under 20 decibels in noise. The fan only comes on when it needs to, and it has a much, much smaller heat sink. So it's shorter, it's three kilograms lighter, and it's the same intensity as the passive cooling version. So for the active cooling back, we recommend that for anything that's on a location purpose, any portable application, as well as some studios that have existing grids that need the lightest weight possible fixtures or, or the smallest form factor. And then the traditional passive system is best for fixtures that want to, studios that want to run the fixtures completely passively without the fan. So these, this is a new option, both the L7T and the active cooling system premiering here at IBC 2012. Thank you very much.